hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we created our first route and uh, now the video is about how we can create a parameterized route so what is the difference between uh, simple route and parameterized route so parameterized route accept an id so how we can create the parameterized route so this is a post route we created in our first video of route and it's successfully working so let me pass here an id so how i can pass a dynamic id here so let's put here a curly brackets and uh, define here a variable so i'm passing this an id so let's save this id and uh, refresh this web page so it's not going to work why it's not going to work because we need to pass an id in our url so I'm passing this uh, 5 so let's enter and our route is successfully working so now the next uh, is how we can get this ID in our web browser so let's go here we are accepting this ID here so how we can get this ID from this so we can get this from the parameter so I'm naming this para ID and uh, here I want to display this ID so let's put an ID this variable name should be there save this one and refresh so it's returning 5 if I put here 30 so it's returning 30 great so we pass this variable here and we are accepting this variable here you can name this any which you want so for example it's not uh, related with this one so let me put this something else right i named this uh, misspell it something and uh, it's working again why it's working because we need to pass uh, any variable here you can pass any variable right and it's uh, will be injected here right and how we can pass multiple variable here so if i want to uh, put here uh, an author id right so we can put this here author author id so this is the second parameter so let me give it a refresh it's not going to work because our route is not completed first we put the post and this is post then we pasted the an id and then we need to pass an author id so here we need to pass an author id so let me put this uh, 80 hit enter and yes it's working and uh, how we can get this id so let's go here and pass a second parameter here so i'm passing this so you can name this any so I am making this author and uh, here I am concatenating these variables so let me put here a little space and I am concatenating this with author oops <laughs> save this one and refresh so now we are getting 30 and 80 so that is the way we can pass multiple vari uh, variables here we, we can also pass 3, 5 or 10 variables here so we can get the ID is from the function parameter so our first topic is covered and now we can move through to the next which is how we can move from the one route to another route so let me uh, put this back uh, let me comment this out and go to the next one comment this out and uh, put it here uh, slash and this should be an home page of our application and uh, I'm returning uh, home page, right? Return home page. Oh, I misspell it. So let me save this and uh, go to the main page of our application. And uh, it says slash is not defined. So why it says because we forgot to add a get method here. <laughs> so refresh it and it's working like a charm. So how we can move from one route to another route? So we are returning home page. I want to return a button here, right? So let's put here a simple button which is HTML tag. And here I will uh, put this uh, href and let me close this tag and the anchor sign. So I forgot to add this anchor here. So here I want to put this contact us save this one refresh and uh, oh it says syntax error what what is the syntax error so it's uh, yeah it's syntax error we forgot to add uh, them at quotation routes okay and now our contact us is there so how i can move from one route to another route so i want to move it to the contact route so let me make a contact route here 
okay i can make this contact us and uh, closure here and then return it like uh, contact us page save this one and uh, let's refresh nothing is going to happen and now i want to redirect from this home to slash contact us so this is our first route we are returning a button here how can i move from this so let me copy this uh, url of uh, the another route where i want to redirect and uh, paste it here and give it a refresh so when i moved uh, move my cursor on this contact us so it's getting us a url at the bottom at the left bottom you can see it in the left bottom so i want to redirect from home to contact us so let's take an eye on this url so i'm clicking on this clicked and it's uh, moved from localhost to contact us so it means that we move we successfully move from one route to another route so we can also define uh, for now we hard coded this route so we can also put uh, dynamic route here by two method helper method first one is url and second one is route so we will use them in the future and i will explain them in, in a separate video because it's a very important concept so for now i'm skipping this step let's move to the third one reverse routing what is the reverse routing reverse routing is uh, for example this is our route contact us and uh, i name this route something i name this route like uh, let me name this name is a helper function which is available by default and uh, here i'm naming this contact contact not contact us you can name it any which you want so it name should be descriptive so i name this contact us so i can access this uh, access this route by two uh, helper function the first one is url and second one is route so this method uh, this name will be available in the route so why we assign this uh, route because we can access uh, this route by this name so if we did not name this we can call it from this url right so that is the major difference so when we assign a name to a route so this will called a reverse routing and i will explain them what is the advantages of this reverse routing so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye